YouTube, what's good? Send you back at it again with another video. So today, we are talking about the PPSH and its recent surface, or I guess you could say surge or rampage across Warzone, because the thing is absolutely busted, and it's in a it, it's a good way kind of busted. It's not to the point where you feel like you have to run the weapon in order to actually win a match. But it's good enough to replace the FFAR, and it's definitely good enough to sit over there and run as a primary. However, there are two main loadouts that you are going to see across Warzone just based off of my own playtesting today. I'll tell you guys exactly what you're going to see. And uh, honestly, Verdansk 84 is 10 out of 10. There is nothing wrong with it. If you, like you can see here, the stadium has completely been destroyed. There is, I mean, they. The stadium pulled up to the scene with the ceiling missing at this point. It's just gone. So, I got nothing to complain about. As long as the stadium doesn't have every single corner that you can hide in available, as you can see in the background, way back in the background where that second crane is, there is the Eiffel Tower that was standing in downtown. It's been sliced in half. So, a lot of the people who tend to go up there and just camp, you know, all the scrubs that like to go up there and try to piss people off during the day, they're not going to have that availability anymore. Also, something that you will definitely notice about this map is that it's a lot more open. It basically ties into what I'm about to tell you. When we go and we talk about the loadouts, what you're going to see this season most likely is a lot of two specific loadouts. It's going to be an SMG and a sniper and an AR and an SMG. And the reason why I say that is because this map isn't like the old map. I know that a lot of people are looking at the map and they're going, oh, the map is just a reskin. You know, they shut off a couple of buildings, changed a couple of the styles, the textures, the lighting, which by the way, the lighting is 10 out of 10. I cannot complain about the lighting, especially with the reworks to Rose's skin. There is no operator that gives you a singular advantage because there have been moments in time when playing Warzone where I have walked and a Rose has been standing clear in front of me and I just did not see her. And then all of a sudden she starts shooting and she just, it's like poof, oh, I'm here. So, definitely the reworks to Rose's skin, as well as the changes to the lighting, the textures on the map, and making the map more wide open is allowing for better flow of gameplay through the BR, because right now, compared to Season 2 and Season 1, the biggest issue with the map was the fact that no matter where you went, somebody was sitting in a corner. There was somebody in ATC, there was somebody over here southwest of ATC sitting in a the corner, there was dudes hiding in bunkers, dudes hiding in stadium. The second their teammate died, instead of trying to push and defend the teammate's body, they were sitting in the corner. The first 10 or so matches that I've played today have been absolutely stunning. Like, and I don't mean stunning as in the map looks fantastic. I mean stunning as in I'm actually seeing people running across the map trying to adapt to this playstyle. And it's great because this is my kind of playstyle, being able to go across the map and rush and be aggressive. But there's also some moments where you need to be tactical depending on the ring placement. Now, granted, I've been playing Resurgence trios all day because Resurgence... Oh, I love Resurgence, man. Being able to stay alive and have your teammate res is huge. Not only for your team, but for the ability to sit here and get higher kill gameplays. Now, the gameplay that I'm actually going to show you is not a higher kill gameplay because despite everything I just said, I could not find anybody. People were dying so fast in the lobby that I must have been landing on the sides of the map where there was just no one landing at because I kid you not I loaded well I landed loaded up got the loadout and, and by the way if you're playing resurgence trios in Verdansk the loadout's actually going to come down faster than you'll be actually able to get a loadout so just wait for that loadout but because of that everybody in their moms is battling over the loadouts and it's it's wild but anyway like I said there's two main loadouts that you're going to see. That is the AR and the sniper, as well as the sniper and the SMG. And when it comes to the sniper and the SMG, I decided to test out the PPSH and the CAR-98, which is a absolutely ridiculous combo. However, it caters to one specific playstyle, and that is a very rush tactical playstyle. And it's not one that's seen very often, but you will see it in this gameplay. However, the consequence of running a style like this is that you may not ever really get anything higher than 15 to 20 kill games, depending on the game mode that you're playing. 
because you can't be as aggressive as other people mainly because you don't have things like stun grenades you don't have things like an ar to really cover your mid-range game and this is more like i'm using a sniper as a support to be able to down people miles away and the ppsh is going to be that smg that i rely on for up close to that sort of smg mid-range and because of that i would not recommend pairing these two together however this is the loadout that I used today. This is the loadout that I got caught with a dub with, and I can't complain about it. However, if you are one of those people that like to rush around all the time, then I would not advise running this. Tomorrow's loadout is the one that I'm actually going to advise running. But today, for your semi-rushy, semi-tactical loadout, we have the Gru Suppressor with a 15.7 inch Task Force Barrel, the Spetsnaz Speed Grip, the 55 Round Drum, and the Ember Sighting Point. And I realized that this might actually be a tad bit different from a lot of people's loadouts. The main reason why I'm running the Spetsnaz Speed Grip is because with the Cold War attachments, they allow you to manipulate your ADS strafe speed. And that is something that has been missing from Call of Duty since I want to say Call of Duty Ghost. There hasn't really been any attachments that allow you to manipulate your strafe speed. And something that you're going to notice about the Cold War weapon, specifically the QBZ because of its recent buff is that when you shoot the weapon, the shooting movement speed stat that's hidden beneath the surface takes into effect and you start zooming. I mean, it's like someone put your boots on ice and you are you're all over the place. But people don't understand how much of an advantage that is within a gunfight. The reason why strafing over time has been nerfed so much is because being able to fly to the left and fly to the right in the middle of a gunfight is a huge advantage. For some people like me, it allows me to track the target even easier, but it makes it harder for them to hit me, so if they're not prepared to see me sliding all over the place on invisible skates, they're going to die. And I expect it to get nerfed soon because a lot of people are going to realize that the Cold War weapons are really strong in Warzone specifically because of the strafe speed compared to the Modern Warfare weapons, because if you pick up a Kilo, you're basically just, it's like someone nailed your boots to the floor, you don't, you can't go anywhere. But if you pick up a PPSH, the QBZ, the Krig 6, and you have any kind of shooting movement speed modifications on that weapon, and you can get it above at least 10% of the base movement speed, then that's it. Like, you're zooming mid gunfight. And if you're used to it, then you have a huge advantage over anybody using any kind of modern warfare weapon. Even if they're using a Cold War weapon, just having that much movement speed in the middle of a gunfight is huge. But to pair it up, we have the Car 98, typical Car 98 loadout that I like to use, monolithic suppressor with the Singar custom 27.6 inch barrel, the TAC laser, the sniper scope, and the FTAC sport comb. Now, for the perks, we have double time overkill and amped, a throwing knife, and this is specifically to just finish down bodies because as you know, Semtex is trash, C4 doesn't go anywhere, it's like tossing a logged up potato no one in their right mind is going to use any other kind of thing maybe a frag grenade might be useful molotovs are just not worth it claymores are for campers proxy mines might be decent to blow up cars thermites and then you got your three cosmetic knives but there's just the only real useful thing here is a throwing knife and i i kind of like that because it really forces you to have to rely on gameplay it's less c4 spam and more let me shoot the guy and then finish him off with a throwing knife so for the tactical, we have the heartbeat sensor, double time overkill and amp. We are not picking up ghost in this video specifically because there's just, I don't feel a need to pick it up anymore. I feel like the map is open enough for me to find targets without having to worry about getting pinged by a heartbeat sensor every two seconds. So tomorrow's video, actually I'm gonna keep that a surprise because I think you're gonna be quite surprised at the weapon that I'm saying is gonna actually be the king of Warzone coming up. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Ow. That is a lose. Not the middle of the map. What? Damn. Stop. Um, Are y'all partying up? <coughs> oh, yes. Boy, a boy. Yo, I got a dude trying to chase me down. Hold up. They went and grabbed Scuv too. And then he ran away. Wow. Why would he do that? He's not obviously trying to live. Damn. 
One out. Thank you. Down. Mark him. Nice. I've done that. Oh. Yeah, done. But it's a lot. I don't know if anybody wants that, but I hate it. Shut up. Thumpy thump. Let's go. Who's next? I'm gonna subscribe to you guys on YouTube. Uh, 1600. I got 2,200. Plenty of targets. Oh. Last stream right now is just me. Nice. I think I just saw somebody up there. Maybe. Nah, no, okay. I, I uh, do want that other loadout though, man. I mean, we can go get it eventually. Grab a UAV from right here because I think somebody's camping in the airport. Oh, shit, I do that. Oh, they're going for loot. Is it down here? I missed? Oh, that's bad, dude. Threat. I'm up down. Alright. Alright, one run inside. Someone is camping over here on the bounty. Coordinates marked. The one that you marked. Someone's over here. Oh, and there's two dudes sitting just. down at the uh, the car dealership. For his general direction. Hostile session. dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Like where they're down. Enemy UAV overhead. Hey, you hey, got one dead. that just dropped in on your door. Ooh, and a sniper sniping me from that rooftop. Careful. Up in the tower. Got you. I'm getting a lot of them. Down to one, down two. Grab Mark him. Eyes on shooter. Bruh. <laughs> down one tower. I ain't even had to. This is my daddy. Hey, cross, 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 cross. Get across, cool. Hey, we got a... Um, we got a bad one back. Oh, she's back. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, right, you in here, bro? Oh, somebody shooting. We should make for the safe zone. Oh, this is dangerous. I might die, honestly. Hey, team dropping down to my left or? Oh, yeah, right, right. yeah, I see him. Taking shots here. Only 25 left. Pick up the good work. Throwing flash. The flash, the flash, the flash, the flash. Don't, don't run straight one. forward. One in the field, one in the field. Somewhere? I don't know, he's behind the tree, I think. Right behind you, behind you, Green. Back here dancing around in the tree somewhere. Yeah, he's around there somewhere. Better now. Fuck. I saw. You guys gonna get him, bro? They want it. Oh, they hiding? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got a gas mask, buy me back, yeah. No, buy me back real quick. Five remain, stay sharp. Done or something, man. Gas is closing in. I thought she still had the rebirth. I was really about to go grab that. Uh, no, no. Get to the safe zone. Okay. Can I get a plate? Can I get some ammo? Yes, yeah, please. Right, right Handgun, pick it up. There you go. Here. I need some. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that's good. Can I get one of y'all guns? <laughs> I just have a thumper and that. I don't have anything good. Hey, I, I work with him. I got six kids. Look at my kids. Too. 
Hey, I got a body in front of me. It's all good, it's all good, it's okay. Hit him in the body. He's directly in front of me right up there. I don't shoot that. That's just two of them, man. Broke armor? That should have been a headshot. Are you serious? Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. That should have been a headshot. I don't know how that happened. Someone's just gonna stay there. He's right. Nah. Oh, got behind me, got behind me. Where? Yeah. By that guy. The guy behind me. Uh, nice. I saw that. Uh, that's how you do it, GG.